Hello, it is me, Militant Ginger. Missed my video yesterday, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, well, you know, given how I did on Friday, when it was all out of focus and stuff like that, maybe that wasn't a bad idea. So here I am, um, I'm just taking five minutes to film a quick video because I know I'm not gonna have any time to do that uh, at any other point, uh, which is pretty much the story of my life. Uh, I was just taking some recycling to the dump and now I'm about to go home and that's it. So I'm gonna tell you, Friday's video about how my whole problem is a lack of focus, that was like an epiphany to me. It really was, it really made me like focus on what I needed to do to solve my problem. So, uh, yeah. and once I, st I, it's crazy. So I believe in this thing called the law of attraction. And the law of attraction isn't so much like that you think something and you make it happen. So you can't like, I want a red bicycle and suddenly a red bicycle from somewhere will fly across the air like, uh, like you have Jedi mind powers. It's more like you think of something you want and then the universe conspires to give you opportunities to achieve it. So Friday to me, I think it was, it was good. I was like broadcasting the fact that you know, I understood what I needed to do. And then it, it, all these little things in my head fell into place as I realized these opportunities to achieve my dreams are out there. I just need to focus on them and take the opportunities and, uh, and fulfill them. And I'm not very good at that. In fact, I've been bad at that my entire life for like focusing on things and getting things done. But as they say euphemistically in all those um, performance appraisal reports you get in your corporate jobs, um, this is an opportunity for improvement. So I'm going to take the opportunity to improve my focus. I'm gonna take some time to, to really bang some stuff out. One example, my writing career. So at my best, I was making really good money writing. So I know the opportunity is there to make a living as good as I have now just writing and I love writing I mean that's perfect and then I've been really struggling I've been really struggling for pretty much a year now and it just occurred to me that the problem is I'm not writing <laughs> I mean I published I think two novels this year and they did okay but you know the writing of it is what's important so I've got a new novel in my head that I'm gonna bang out and I really am just gonna bang this one out um, keep it simple keeping it simple is the the important thing when it comes to writing so bang that novel out, publish it, see if I can make some money and just I really start focusing on the things I enjoy that make me money and then see whether I can uh, actually make uh, make a, a living out of that. So that's me, uh, back again. I'm, weekends are always a struggle because it's 100% family time, uh, which I love, family time is fine, uh, as determined by my wife. So there's not much room for things I want to do during that time. It's it kind of... I think one of the, the problems with marriage in general is that women think the men go out to work all day and I honestly think they think you are just like playing golf or something like that. Because you cut, you schlep in after 10 hours at the job and you're like, uh, and immediately it's like, okay dear, I'm gonna go off to this and I'm gonna take a nap and it's your turn to look after the kids, can you put the kids to bed and stuff like that. So, you know, I come from home work, literally the moment I'm through the door, it's cooking food for the kids talking to the kids, helping the kids with the homework, putting the kids to bed, and it's exhausting. Um, and at the weekends, it's the same thing. It's like 100% full on just family time. And I think the problem is, as a guy in modern America, you need some time for yourself and you just don't get that. And people don't appreciate the fact that you need that time. It's almost as if, um, it's almost as if like being a woman with a career is like celebrated, that's a fantastic thing. Being a man with a career is almost like looked down upon. Um, Anyway, but my whole point is I don't want a career. I want to live my own life doing my own thing. Anyway, routing now. I'm gonna try and wrap this video up before it gets to five minutes. Uh, nice to chat to you all. I promise to try and come up with something slightly more exciting and interesting tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a very intense period of the year. It's been a tough, intense year, and this is a very intense period of it, but I had a great boss called Gordon once, and he said, the only way out is through. Or if you're going through hell, just keep going. So that's my thing. It's very intense at the moment, but I'm just gonna keep plugging away, and there is always gonna be light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, that's what I recommend to you. Just keep plugging away. Keep buggering on, as Winston Churchill would say. So that's it, gotta go. 15 seconds before I hit the five minute mark. I will chat to you tomorrow. Thanks for listening.